Prince Harry's 40th birthday, an event many expected to be filled with grandeur and royal extravagance, has instead become the subject of widespread speculation, and not for the right reasons. What should have been a milestone celebration has reportedly fizzled into near obscurity, leaving many to wonder if a party even happened at all. According to recent reports, what was supposed to be a significant affair was almost non-existent. So, what really went down? Early rumors hinted at an extravagant event, but reality seems to have been far less glamorous. Whispers suggest the guest list was disappointingly small, almost as deflated as a balloon after a child's birthday party. This lackluster turnout may not be all that surprising. Given Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's increasingly shrinking circle of friends, largely due to their ongoing public controversies and polarizing behavior. One of the more curious details surrounding the birthday bash was the timing. Reports say it was scheduled for a Sunday. For a royal who's used to a life that resembles a perpetual holiday, this was an odd choice. Could the timing have contributed to the lack of excitement and guests? Adding to the speculation, many wondered if Harry's longtime pals would show up. There were no confirmed sightings of figures like James Corden, who recently returned to the UK. And what about Nacho Figueres, one of Harry's closest friends? His absence from the guest list only fueled rumors that Harry's social circle is continuing to shrink. And then there's the paparazzi, or rather, the lack of them. There were no photos of Harry boarding a jet, no shots of Meghan in a glamorous outfit for a royal birthday bash, and no images of elegant grazing tables. The expectation of a star-studded event quickly evaporated when it was revealed that Harry and Meghan attended Tyler Perry's birthday bash instead. Imagine that, a high-profile party taking precedence over your own milestone birthday. Could this be a sign of shifting priorities for the couple? Meghan Markle, often criticized for her tendency to steal the spotlight, may have found Harry's birthday to be an inconvenient distraction from her own media presence. Narcissistic tendencies often lead to downplaying a partner's special occasions, especially when they don't align with personal interests. Opting for Perry's grand event instead of organizing a major bash for Harry's 40th could have been a strategic choice, one that allowed Meghan to remain in the limelight without much competition. As for Harry, it's possible that his dwindling social connections played a big role in the understated celebration. Many former friends may have distanced themselves due to the couple's increasingly controversial reputation. Could Harry's 40th have been nothing more than a modest gathering with a cupcake and a single candle, serenaded by his children and staff? While the idea seems far-fetched for someone who once mingled with world leaders and celebrities, it might reflect his current reality. Whether the celebration was entirely non-existent or just mildly understated, it seems fittingly symbolic of Harry's personal and public life. His shrinking social circle, Meghan's dominating presence, and the couple's declining popularity could have turned what should have been a grand milestone into a quiet, forgettable affair. As the saying goes, it's my party, and I'll cry if I want to, and it seems that Harry's 40th birthday may have been marked with more reflection than revelry. What are your thoughts? Could this understated birthday reveal deeper issues about Harry and Meghan's current social standing? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Fame Finder, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next Royal Deep Dive.